We are so grateful to have you here today. Waiting just a few minutes to give friends a moment to join us. And then we'll get started. Hello friends, welcome. We are so glad you are here today. Hello there and welcome. Hey, Ms. Rusalina, come in and join me. We are so grateful to be here for afternoon school snack time. And if you, this is your first time joining us, welcome. We are so glad you are here. If you joined us last week and you came back again, welcome back. We are so very glad you are here today. Ms. Rusalina, have you planned some good stuff for us? I think she has, and it's going to be great. Should we go to have snack? Who's hungry? You're always hungry? Yeah, Ms. Rusalina says she's always hungry. So let's head on over to the snack table. Ms. Rusalina's gonna take her seat. I've got mine. And welcome to snack time. So we have something great planned today. Ms. Rusalina picked out apple donuts. Has anyone ever had apple donuts before? Oh, this is a new snack for me, so I am excited to try it today. So let's talk about how we make it. So first, you'll need a grown-up to help you because you will need to use a knife. You're gonna slice an apple and keep it whole. You're gonna do it, slice the circles. You're gonna slice the whole apple into three-quarter inch slices. Then you need to core those pieces because you've gotta make a donut hole in the middle of your apple. If you have an apple core, you could use that. You could use a pastry tip, if you have a metal pastry tip, or you could use a knife to slowly cut out the middle. So use what you have, but you'll definitely need a grown up to help you. Then you'll need some small bowls so that you can mix some food coloring. Now, the fun part of making these apple donuts is choosing what kind of frosting is going on your donuts. So depending on the color, depends on which color food coloring you want. Now, if you are like my daughter and she wants pink donuts, what color do you think you need to make, what color food coloring to make pink donuts? Red, because you're gonna have the white cream cheese you put in the bowl and you're gonna add a little bit of red food coloring. And if you don't use too much red, it'll stay nice and pink. And if the color's not as bright or as dark as you'd like, add a little more food coloring. Now, maybe you're like my other daughter who wants purple. What would you mix with the red to make purple? Blue. So you'd mix the blue and the red together and it'll make purple. The brighter and darker you want it to be, the more red and blue food coloring you add to your cream cheese. Now you could do yellow, you could do green, you've got different options depending on what color food coloring you have. And you can have all kinds of fun picking your color. Just remember, different bowls for each color because otherwise they're gonna get all mixed up and it might turn out the way you like. Then comes the fun part, sprinkles. Now, do all donuts have sprinkles on them? I don't think all donuts have sprinkles, but I think sprinkles make everything fun. So add some sprinkles to your donuts. I have made some today too, and I am really excited to try it. All right, do you have your snack? I have mine. You ready to dig in? Mmm. Apple donuts are a hit. My girls said that they really liked this today too. And they said this is a really great snack. Should we make it again? Mmm, I'm getting some nods. Mouthful of apple donuts, not able to answer me. All right, so 
I'm curious, did any of you try the apple nachos from last week? Mmm. Yes? No? We've actually made them again. We liked apple nachos so much, we had to have them again. And I think apple donuts might be another repeat in my house. Did you know that it is apple season right now? You can go pick your own apples. Imagine all the fun things of snacks we can make with apples. So I hope you like the snack today. But it's time for a story. So let's all get ready for our story. Today, Miss Three Selena has picked out another great one. It's Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday. Now, if you joined us for any of our story times over the summer, we actually read another Judy Viorst book over the summer. It was Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Have you ever had a bad day? I know I have. And Alexander tells a funny story, but today he wants to talk to us about money. Who likes money? I know I like talking about money and I know that Miss Rusalina, our savings king guru, loves talking about money, especially helping other young people learn about money. So let's dig into our story today. Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday by Judith Fjorst. Illustrated by Ray Cruz. It isn't fair that my brother Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. It isn't fair that my brother Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and 13 pennies. It isn't fair because what I've got is bus tokens. And what most of the time, what I've mostly got is bus tokens. And even when I'm very rich, I know that pretty soon what I'll have is bus tokens. I know because I used to be rich last Sunday. Last Sunday, Grandma Betty and Grandpa Louie came to visit from New Jersey. They brought locks because my father likes to eat locks. They brought plants because my mother likes to grow plants. They brought a dollar for me and a dollar for Nick and a dollar for Anthony because mom says it's not nice to say this. We like money a lot, especially me. My father told me to put the dollar away for college. He was kidding. Anthony told me to use the dollar to go downtown to a store and buy a new face. Anthony stinks. Nikki said to take the dollar and bury it in the ground and in a week, a dollar tree would grow. Ha, ha, ha. Mom said, if I really want to buy a walkie-talkie, save my money. Saving money is hard. Because last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I went to Pearson's drugstore and got bubble gum. After the bubble gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And after that gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And even though I told my friend David I'd sell him all the gum in my mouth for a nickel, he still wouldn't buy it. Goodbye, 15 cents. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I bet that I could hold my breath till 300. Can you hold your breath till 300? I bet that I could jump, Anthony won. I bet that I could jump from the top of the stoop and land on my feet. Nikki won. 
I bet that I could hide the purple marble in my hand and mom would never guess which hand I was hiding it in. I didn't know that moms made children pay. Goodbye, another 15 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money, except that Eddie called me up and said that he would rent me his snake for an hour. I always wanted to rent a snake for an hour. Would you rent a snake for an hour? Goodbye, 12 cents. Anthony said when I'm 99, I still won't have enough for a walkie-talkie. Nick said I'm too dumb to be let loose. My father said that there are certain words a boy can never say, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father fined me five cents each for saying them. Goodbye, dime. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, by accident, I flushed three cents down the toilet. A nickel fell through a crack when I walked on my hands. I tried to get my nickel with a butter knife and also my mother's scissors. Goodbye, eight cents and butter knife and the scissors. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I found this chocolate candy bar just sitting there. I rescued it from being melted or smushed, except the way I rescued it from being melted or smushed was that I ate it. How was I supposed to know that it was Anthony's? Goodbye, 11 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. But then Nick did a magic trick that made my pennies vanish in thin air. The trick to bring them back, he hasn't learned yet. Goodbye, four cents. Anthony said that even when I'm 199, I still won't have enough for a walkie-talkie. Nick said they should lock me in a cage. My father said that there are certain things a boy can never kick. No matter how ratty and mean, his brothers are being. My father made me pay five cents for kicking it. Goodbye, Nickel. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, Kathy around the corner had a garage sale. I positively only went to look. I looked at a half melted candle. I needed that candle. I looked at a bear with one eye. I needed that bear. I looked at a deck of cards that was perfect, except for no seven of clubs or two of diamonds. I didn't need that seven or two. Goodbye, 20 cents. That's some extra points. I was absolutely saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. I absolutely positively was saving the rest of my money except that I need to get some money to save. He's put it, making a sign that says toys for rent. I try to make a tooth fall out. I could put it under my pillow and get a quarter. No loose teeth. Alexander's mom doesn't look very happy, does she? I looked in Pearson's telephone booths for nickels and dimes that people sometimes forget. No one forgot. I brought some non-returnable bottles down to Friendly's Market. Friendly's Market wasn't very friendly. I told my grandma and grandpa to come back soon. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I used to have a dollar. I do not have a dollar anymore. I got this dopey deck of cards. I've got this one-eyed bear. I've got this melted candle. And 
some bus tokens. So what did you think of today's story? I see we have some friends asking questions. What are bus tokens? Which is a great question because some of you might not be familiar with riding the bus. Now, have you ever seen these buses driving around town that you see people get on and get off? Those are buses you pay to ride. They're different from school buses, okay? So these buses, you have to pay money to ride them because the thing we have to remember, not everybody has a car. And if you don't have a car, you need a way to get around. Maybe some people take a taxi or an Uber or a Lyft, but lots of people take the bus. And if you live in big cities, you might take a subway or a train. But for a bus, you pay money. And in some places, and at least it used to be, you would buy bus tokens. And they look like coins, kind of like, you know, your nickels, dimes, and quarters. But these are coins you can't take to the grocery store, or the toy store, or the candy store to buy things. They're only coins you can turn in to go for a ride on the bus. And so I guess Alexander's family, maybe they take the bus to go places and he has bus coins for being able to get where he needs to go. So at least he's not completely broke. He does have something that helps him get from one place to another. Now, let's think. Alexander used to be rich last Sunday. Do you remember how much money he had last Sunday? A dollar. He had one dollar. Okay. But over the course of the week, what happened? That's right. He spent his money. He bought a melted candle. He bought the one eyed bear. He bought the deck of cards that were missing a couple of cards. But he also got tricked some by his brothers and he got into a fight with his brothers. And what did his parents do for their fighting? He got fined. They made him charge a fee for saying naughty words and for kicking his brothers. Now, Alexander's parents gave him a good reminder. Even when your siblings are ratty and nasty, do we get to say mean things? Do we get to kick them? Absolutely not. There's no calling people nasty names or bad words and there are no, there's no hurting other people. And so his family, they got fined for those things. Maybe your family does something different, but over the course of the week, Alexander wasn't making smart choices with his money, was he? Now, I want to give you something to help you think about what happened with Alexander's money, okay? Miss Rusalina has helped make an activity sheet for all of you kids that you can get on the Credit Union website. So you go to our website and an adult, a grown up can help you. And on this activity sheet, it has money you can count, it has nickels, it has dimes, and it has pennies. Now, I know you know that there are different types of money, but for this, we just have pennies, nickels, and dimes, okay? Because it makes it a little bit easier when you're practicing with your money. And you can count the money, and this activity sheet will walk you through it, and you can even read the story again. Maybe you have this book, maybe you want to borrow it from your library, maybe you want to order this yourself from your local bookstore. So you have options but you can read the book and use this to help count the money and see if you can remember what all of these different types of coins are worth and count how many are here. Now, if you finish this activity sheet and you wanna share it with us, you're more than welcome to mail it to me at the credit union. I'm Crystal Parker. You can have a grown up help you email it or just send us a picture and we're happy to share and celebrate with you on having fun, counting money and practicing with this story. Learning about money is something we think is really, really important. So Ms. Rusalini and I wanna make a couple of quick reminders because there are three things we always want to make sure that you know about your money. The first thing is 
there's one thing that is the most important thing for everybody to know about money. Does anybody remember what that is? That's right. It's to save. Saving is the most important thing that you can do with your money. Because if you don't save your money, you won't have it later when you really need it. Now, there's another thing that we need to remember to do. Anyone have ideas? You might think that it's to spend it, but the most important thing you can do with your money after saving it is to find a way to share it. And I'm not talking about just sharing it with your parents or your grown-ups or your siblings. I'm talking about finding a good cause that means something to you that you can share. Maybe you love going to the museum. Maybe you love going to Maymont. Maybe you love helping sea turtles, whatever it might be. There's all kinds of things that we could do, but maybe you want to share a little bit with them. And then you also have to think about spending. So we save, we share, and we spend. And when you spend, you need to have a plan for how you spend spend your money. There always has to be a plan because if we think about our story today, did Alexander have a plan for how he was spending his money? I don't think so. That's why he used to be rich last Sunday. He had money, but he kept spending it without a plan. Can you remember what Alexander wanted to buy? He wanted to get a pair, a set, of walkie talkies. Now, if there's something you want to buy, you have to have a plan for how you're going to get the money. Maybe you have to work for it, or maybe you know that each time you get birthday money or money from chores or helping a neighbor do something, you earn that money. We had a young person in my neighborhood that wanted to get some fancy earbuds and they knew how much they cost, and then started telling the neighbors, hey, I can help you with your yard work. And so they were working and working and working until they had enough money to buy these special earbuds that they wanted to get. But it took a plan, it took research, and it took work. We don't just get money, usually. <laughs> so it's important to remember, if you're going to spend it, you also have to have a plan how you spend it. That's called having a budget. And budgeting is really important for all of us, no matter how old or how young we might be. Okay, friends? So I'm gonna put a link in the comments of this video to this particular sheet. So if you would like to do this activity sheet, you are more than welcome to color it, have fun, practice counting money. And we'll see you next week. Every week you can catch us right here on Facebook Live at 4.30 for another after school snack time. If you are checking things out on the bookshelf, you may have noticed a hint for next week's story. We have another great story picked out for us. Miss Rusalina has picked out some really great books for all of us to read, and we cannot wait to see you. Thank you so much for joining us for After School Snack Time, and we'll see you next week. Bye, friends.